Chat, we have big news. A lost episode of a beloved British institution has been found. And not only that, it will be broadcast this week. Yes, the original pilot episode of Blackadder, where Philip Fox from Midsummer Murders and Waking the Dead fame played Baldrick instead of Tony Robinson. And it is going to be broadcast in Gold's documentary Blackadder the Lost Pilot on June the 15th at 9pm. Oh yeah, and apparently they found more missing Doctor Who episodes. As we normally say, take these rumours with a grain of salt, unless it's from the mirror and, record and reported by Nicola Medvin, who seems to be on the up and up when it comes to Doctor Who scoops. She's the same person who, a few months back, dropped the, uh, the scoop, the rumour, that apparently they'll be doing animated versions of The Smugglers and The Underwater Menace, as well as potentially a colorization of a classic black and white Doctor Who story for the 60th anniversary. But Nicola Methven has reported this past week, Doctor Who fans have been given renewed hope that another nine lost episodes from the 1960s could soon be returned to the BBC. Archive TV hunter Philip Morris, who located and returned nine missing Patrick Troughton episodes in 2013, has revealed he knows of four more missing episodes which exist in private hands in the UK, plus another two which he's tracked down overseas. Speaking at the Utopia fan convention in Bedfordshire, he promised to try and retrieve the episodes so they can be enjoyed by audiences once again. As you all know, a total of 97 episodes from the Hartnell and Troughton years are missing. The story that fans are most keen to track down is Marco Polo, which was told over seven episodes. Morris's previous find came as the show celebrated its 50th anniversary it is now due to celebrate its 60th. The recovered material in the 50th anniversary included four episodes of the six-parter The Web of Fear. Morris, who is dubbed the Indiana Jones of the film world, also found five episodes that complete the six-parter The Enemy of the World. He said at the time they'd been sitting on a shelf with a piece of masking tape that said Doctor Who. His new finds of as yet unspecified stories came as Paul Venezes, who helps restore old episodes for Blu-ray by the BBC, confirmed he knew of two further episodes existing with the possibility of a third. One fan said Philip has scoured the archives of TV stations across the world looking for lost episodes from British TV and has also turned up such gems such as missing episodes of Morecambe and Wise in Sierra Leone. Steptoe and Son and the Basil Brush Show, as well as nine episodes of Doctor Who in Nigeria. So, we do not know, currently, what has been found, if anything has been found. We've got to say, for the sake of pure transparency, Philip, um, Philip Morris has a bit of a reputation of not being the most honest person in terms of what he has found and how he has come across things. Uh, I obviously cannot speak for like first or second hand information, but I have spoken to people who have spoken to people who have told me what has allegedly happened to the supposed missing episode of The Web of Fear, which he apparently had in his possession and then lost under dubious circumstances. That's a whole thing that we're not going to get into. But... This is interesting, especially, like, obviously, this isn't a scoop that Nicola Methvin has found. She's reporting from the Utopia fan convention, which Philip Morris was speaking at. So, once again, take this with a grain of salt. But it's pretty exciting. We do know that quite a lot of episodes were sent, um, were sent far east were sent to Australia, who then would ship their tapes to other countries as well if they weren't returned to the BBC. So it is entirely possible that old episodes of Doctor Who are still out there. We do know that some episodes, for example, The Feast of Stephen, which is the Daleks' master plan Christmas episode, was never sold overseas and was junked by the BBC. So episodes like that we know are gone and are lost forever. But there's still a pretty big question mark over a few other episodes a few other serials that were never returned were presumably junked but they don't have the paperwork to confirm whether or not they were junked they could have been taken by good samaritans and they're in they're in car boot sales or they're in classic film collections across the globe there was the rumor a few months back about a bunch of episodes in egypt or in the middle east so we don't have any updates on that, but this is typically an incredibly slow process. There's a lot of 
uh, diplomacy that needs to be done when you're trying to get TV and film archival and go through people's film collections. Some of those collections, believe it or not, are owned by the state and do need to have official jurisdiction to interact with those, which, you know, that's a big delay. But this is interesting. So just to summarize, what's this? So he allegedly knows of four more missing episodes which exist in private hands, plus another two which he's tracked down overseas. I honestly think that Philip Morris would not make a statement like this if he knew that these were episodes that were already in the archives. So, like, you know, Philip Morris, you know, say what you will about the guy. He is a Doctor Who fan and he does care about archiving British history and British TV specifically. So I don't think he'd be like, oh, we found more copies of The Edge of Destruction. Great. Lovely, thanks. Put them on the pile there, Dave. Oh, how I'd love to be in Australia right now. It's only nine degrees there. Yeah, this is uh, unironically now the best time for Philip Morris and other uh, and other TV show hunters of the 1950s and the 1960s. It's now the ideal climate to go to Australia to hunt <laughs> to hunt them down. Um, Eth uh, according to Evil Dalek, Ethiopia's Prince of Marco Polo, the Reign of Terror, and the Crusader are unknown on where they are. Yeah, one second. I actually have a book on this. Two secs. Um, I ordered this book while working on the beginning of the Hartnell Marathon, Wiped, Doctor Who's Missing Episodes by Richard Molesworth with an introduction by Terence Dix. This is the updated version from 2013, 2014 to account for the new finds of Enemy of the World and The Web of Fear. And this has basically got the paper trail of all of the episodes that are confirmed to have been junked or where they were sent. So I've not gone through this with a fine tooth comb myself. Uh, Doctor Who YouTubers and much smarter people than me, like Josh Snares, have already dug through this stuff and have confirmed which ones are confirmed junked to try and find out where they are, where they went, if they were returned or if they were junked. 90% of the first films ever made in the 1920s and the 1930s are junked and lost forever. Like the, 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 the first two decades of the dominant media art form of the 20th century is just gone like it was never there, like it was never there, which is a very depressing statistic, but that's just what happened for that's, that's just what happened for the beginning of the uh, the first half of the 20th century so do i believe this you know i'm hopeful but i will only believe it when i see it and i'm also interested to know if this coincides with the rumors that we heard about the episodes in egypt a few months back the dalek stories were sold overseas quite a lot one second don't the problem with this wiped book is that it doesn't just say in text very easily here we go here, here's what's been found here is where it is um there's there's a lot of text to get through thankfully josh snares is very very handily put stuff together one second where's the map the Daleks Master Plan was only sold internationally once, and that was to Australia. Australia never aired the Daleks Master Plan and was considered to be junked, or returned to the BBC. Episode 7, The Feast of Steve- Okay, so I was completely wrong. Even though it was a Dalek story during the height of Dalek mania in the UK, they only sent a copy to Australia, as opposed to many other- I think that Marco Polo is the most sold episode abroad of, like, in Doctor Who's classic history, and the fact that no copy survived means it is statistically the most destroyed episode in Doctor Who history. The most destroyed serial. Um, so yeah. Imagine if it's the Space Pirates. That would be so fucking funny. By the- well, we found classic Doctor Who. Oh, what is it? It's the Space Pirates. Oh, can- can you can you check again? <laughs> oh, we found four, we found all the episodes of the Space Pirates. Great. Oh, here's this fire. <laughs> so cruel. Where is Space Pirates? Josh, take it away. For this story, three prints of the Space Pirates were sent out. Australia. Yeah. See, only one copy of Dalek Master Plan was sold, but Space Pirates, three copies. They they knew they had a hit. They returned theirs, Singapore most likely destroyed them, and Zambia does not contain any BBC material. So I've actually got some family who are traveling to Singapore later this year. I'm going to tell them, can you please go to every single 
like antique shop, every single place where you think there'll be foam canisters, and anything labeled BBC and or Doctor Who, can you like bring it back, please? <laughs> 